We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole Tiffany Haddish situation, honey. Yes, y'all know our favorite homegirl, the one who talks too much. She never shuts up in my damn Kaya voice. <laughs> All right, y'all just seen that damn Kaya clip. That shit cracks me up every time. So now you know who else is saying that Tiffany Haddish talks too much? And they're even insinuating that Tiffany Haddish lied about the whole Beyonce situation. They're claiming that Beyonce never got her face bit and that basically Tiffany Haddish made this up to get attention and to get follows and everything else. Beyonce's stepdad, Richard Lawson, who is a really famous producer, basically he's coming out, he's talking to Candace Wilson of ABC News. She ends up asking him about the whole who bit Beyonce situation and basically he blasts Tiffany Haddish and says that she's lying. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip really quick and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Whatever. But what were your thoughts on this whole who bit Beyonce thing? Please let it die. <laughs> Please let it die. It's so stupid. Uh, it's silly but it was the biggest thing and I, I have know. to ask. I mean what, what was it like? Was, was there a lot of... We're, obviously this happened in December so we're, it's not even like it happened recently. But right. did, did, did you, were you like, oh, what I happened? Didn't know. Oh. Wait, look, I, look, I, it, it was it was something that was blown out of proportion. And and Tiffany just got a ride from doing it. And so her numbers probably jumped up. The people, other people jumped on the bandwagon and it's all a bunch of BS. <laughs> it's not real. It doesn't. It, it's not true. Just. Oh, OK. So there was, there was no like we were concerned at first. We were like, who no. did this? No. Who, let me find this person. No, 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 no. It's so amazing the, the way, you know, the way social media can I just kind of take off. things I, I and run with it. I just had to ask because I'm like, what, was there a conversation? Y'all were like, okay, we, we, we got to get this together. Like, you know, I no. was concerned. Well, yeah. I, as, uh, sorry, as chairman of the Beehive, I'd like to say <laughs> I do not appreciate people taking advantage of uh, me and the committee by, you know, don't, don't poke the bear. Hey, look. When, look. There's, no, when there's no reason for us to All wake up. All I want to say to Tiffany is that, girl, you better be careful because the Beehive will come and get you. Okay? Oh, wow. Because they're serious. Oh, wow. I heard she signed the NDA, so it's, it's over with now. She she can't talk about it. It's, it's done. Is that right? Did she That's what she NDA said before? That's, she said that she received the NDA. The NDA is a real, and she can't talk about it anymore because if you partner out with Beyonce, you have to sign paperwork. I don't know. I mean, that's pe please, people. I swear to God, it's like unbelievable. Wow. So this is not true. That's what you're saying. It's not true. You it's... have never signed the NDA. Me? <laughs> She I'm said, I, she said I'm your daddy. daddy. Well, you're my daughter. Here, let me sign this NDA. <laughs> yeah. I won't ever admit that I hugged you, kissed you. Right. Uh -huh. We went to dinner. Yeah. No. Oh, no, gosh. No. All right. Well, thanks for clearing that up. I'm just curious because you know I care about everybody and I care about Beyonce. I care <laughs> about everybody. So I want to make sure nothing did. Somebody had been her. We, Erica B, and I would be on these streets. I, B, you know what? B is working her tail off. But she's getting ready to go on tour. Yes. And she started next week, or when, whenever it is, uh, Coachella. She got two weeks out there. It's going to be a revolutionary show. It's going to be earth shattering. And her and her and Jay are getting ready to go on, you know, um, uh, on the run too. And it's going to be unbelievable. Just get your tickets. If you don't already have them, then or I don't ask know what to Zaddy. tell you. And ask Kim to get your tickets. Right. Well, well just... no, I'm going to take care of my baby. I got... Well, damn, bitch. Richard Lawson was not here for the foolishness. He looked like he damn near wanted to say, why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, you lying. Always fucking lying. That's what he was really looking like. But I got to be honest, y'all. I don't know if I really believe his side of the story. Like, I understand that's Beyonce's stepdad. But I kind of feel like he's trying to do damage control, okay? As much as I think Tiffany Haddish runs her damn mouth too damn much. And she be dick riding Beyonce a little bit too damn hard. 
I do feel like there might be some truth to the story, okay? Too many A-list people came to Tiffany Haddish's defense who stated that they were at the party, they saw the same thing. So I kind of feel like Richard Lawson is just trying to do damage control on behalf of Beyonce. Because if Tiffany Haddish is lying, then why did Tyler Perry come out and co-sign the lie? Why did Christy Teigen come out and co-sign the lie? Why did John Legend co-sign the lie on The Breakfast Club? So um, does Luna know who bit Beyonce? She does not. <laughs> She does not. But you and Chrissy do. I do, and, and Chrissy she's a, it's a famous actress. It is a famous person, yes. Famous person, not actress. I'm not even. Too many people have said that they witnessed the same situation and that Tiffany Haddish was telling the truth. So now for Richard Lawson to come on and say that everything was a fabrication, everything was a lie, I don't know if I really believe him either, okay? Because we all know Beyonce is very secretive, you know what I'm saying? And that she will have her people cover up for her, just like the whole Solange and the elevator situation. I don't really know who to believe at this point in time, but if Tiffany Haddish is lying, why would so many other celebs come out and basically co-sign what Tiffany Haddish was saying? So anyways, I don't know what to think about this damn story, so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Do you believe Richard Lawson, who is Beyonce's stepfather, do you feel what he's saying is the truth? Or do you feel like he's just trying to do damage control for Beyonce and her brand? Or do you believe Tiffany Haddish and all these other celebrities who saw the chick bite Beyonce's face? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.